দাঁড়াও বাবা দাঁড়াও না এটা আসছে না কেন বলছে যে দিস ফাইল ইজ এমপি হ্যাঁ রবির ভিতরে তো ইনডেক্স আর এইচটিএমএল এই যে এটা আসছে ওকে 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 Assalamu alaikum dear viewers welcome to another episode of coding with fatiha here in obitur minute school and also in my page and channel inshallah today we will build this cool website and as you can see this is a, a photography world this is almost like a blog okay and we will be creating this so let's get started first what we will do is we will go to google and we will write down brackets okay then we will have to download it and once the downloading is finished then we will install it okay now after it is installed we're going to land right here now what you'll have to do is in brackets you'll have to go to file and you have to open folder then create a folder called brackets then inside that folder create one more folder say in the saying the name of your project and then after you have opened that folder inside the brackets folder click on the new and click on that two times and so this one is just accident but we'll click on them two times and rename them as index.html and also style.css the html index.html as you might have guessed already is where we will write our html and style.css is where we will write our css Now we have done this in another class with code pen and today we're doing with a different app. Okay, so let's get started. First we'll open our HTML tags. Then what we will do is we will open the head, right? And on the head, uh, we we're, uh, we're going to enter and we're going to put another tag where it's going to say the title. Now, after we do the title, we're going to write down that maybe this is our practice cuz it is my practice. But you can put it the title is basically the ID of your whole project. And I'm just named that practice. Okay? Then I'm going to enter that. And at, before the title, I'm going to after the title, I'm going to enter and I'm going to put link. Link rel or link relations okay link rel is equals to style sheet style sheet here it came and then we're going to write down that href href is equals to our style.css okay so we're linking our html with our css page in this uh um photo gallery or in this photo world or in this blog whatever you can call it we don't need a javascript so that's why we're not including the javascript okay so we have done this now we'll start with our body okay we did the body and now in here we're going to write down the h1 h1 and in h1 is going to say hello or, greetings hello and welcome to Hello and welcome to my or you can even write down your name I'll write down my name welcome to the tea has mm, photography world you can write anything you want just like a little introduction maybe okay then you're going to enter and now you're going to put a div as you may have seen in the other class a div actually means division Okay, so we're gonna put the div, and then enter, and then we're gonna put the image. Now the image src src is equals to some image that we need. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna write down that uh, nature. Okay, nature, and obviously they're gonna give us a bunch of images. What we'll do is we'll choose a simple image that we want. Maybe this one it seems very beautiful. Copy image address. What that will do is it will copy the link. We do not really have to download the picture or save the picture because we don't really need that while we're doing it in the JavaScript. Come on, V. Okay, it pasted that right here. Now, yes, you can fix the height and the width. of the picture in the css but why not do it here which is why what you can do is you can write down the height height is equal to let's say 150 i always find that as a good mm, uh, height and the width should be equals should be 152 oh 
It should be in the quotation, double quotation. 150. There we go. Now let's end this. There we go. We did it. Now, before we end our dip, what we'll do is we'll open a paragraph. Or P, the P means paragraph. You can add a little short text and inspirational text right here. Let's say that, oh, okay, um, if we cl click on, double click on that, that's that waterfall picture. Then let's say we put, hmm, um, oh, I have one. Nature, oh, nature is please with simplicity and nature is no dummy this was actually a famous quote by uh, dr einstein mr einstein okay and nature is no dummy now we have written that and we'll end our p We'll end our division, and we're not gonna end our body yet. We still have more things to do. What we can do is we can take this whole division, copy it, and paste it here. We can paste it four times, okay, and for or in order to create four pictures. If you want, you can create more. And not only do you have to use a div, you can use bands as well. And you can put them next to each other, and you can do that. Okay, but I'm doing the div here. Now I am going to delete this link and I am going to bring some more pictures. Let's say that we want this one. This seems very beautiful. Copy image address, it'll copy the link. Now we're gonna paste that right here. And maybe we're here, we're gonna write that in there. That's our text. We're gonna write that going sorry yeah going to the mountains is going home okay this is also a famous quote you can put in that too now after that we finished this one so we're gonna create we're gonna put in another link we're gonna delete this and we're gonna put in another photo Let's say that, oh, this is really nice. The image address. And maybe we'll, yeah, put it right there. There we go. If it's too big, is you see that you uh, copied it and then after you paste it, it like takes up a really big space of the screen, then don't use that picture. Instead, try to use a different picture, okay? And I'm going to write a different one for this one. Different text for this one. Uh, this one is that shadow one. So I'm going to write that it's sunny. So when the sun rise, I just create something up. It's not that you have to put in a famous quote. You can put in anything you want. When the sun rises, it seems that it seems that a new life has begun well that's not actually true but or instead of life let's say that a new year because time passes so fast a new year has begun okay so we put that now we're going to put our last picture delete that and we're going to go here and hmm, let's say that oh this one's nice actually it seems very foggy so maybe i could write that sometimes life can be gloomy like this mountain maybe or this scenario come on mm -hmm. um we're gonna do that and we're gonna write sometimes life can be gloomy like this scenario. 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 Or like uh, we're gonna write like this scene. Like this scene. Okay. So we have finished our 
html now if you want you you don't have to do that many enter you can just write it all along and then uh if you go to this blocks area you'll have to call the extension manager you'll have to uh bring this like wand it's called beautify just beautify okay and if you click on the beautify it's gonna fix the structure like with the spaces and the gaps it's gonna fix it for you all you have to do is type 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 okay now let's go to our css remember we linked it with our css what we'll write down is maybe our body right our body we're gonna do the, the text align we want the pictures to be at the center the text align will be center and the background color um you always have to put the hyphen so background color yep. fix it i always like this uh, beautify so the background color should it be let's say pink i'm gonna choose hot pink and then we're gonna do is we put an h1 right so the h1 we're gonna say that let's say that the color for the h1 the color should be purple now there's different oh, purple now i think i'm gonna choose the first one i like that okay and this is how you can create it now if you have to go back to the html and you go to this almost on top of the extension manager there's this like lightning bolt symbol you click on that and it's going to take you here okay um it says hello and welcome to fatiha's photography and comes up all these things see nature is pleased with simplicity and nature is no dummy there's that picture going to the mountains is going home there's that picture when the sun rises it seems that a new year has begun and sometimes life can be gloomy like this scene okay so dear viewers i hope you all enjoyed today's program okay so dear viewers this is how you can make it now if you want to upload it and you want to give this to someone then what you need to do give this website to someone then you have to go here into github okay you'll have to go here into github.com then you'll have to sign in okay and after you're signed in you're gonna have to create a new one like this new one and you're gonna go to new repository and there you're gonna put in the name here i'm going to put in practice since this was a practice okay practice is available and we're gonna add a readme file okay now create repository okay so it's creating now what we're gonna do is we're going to come here is we're going to go to the add files add files upload files okay so now we came here we're gonna go to choose your files then downloads and bracket and roby and or oh, what you name the file as and you're gonna click on your index open it's gonna bring you that we're gonna choose one more it's gonna be our css now we have to check that oh is it actually that one that i want css open yep two of them came now we're going to commit changes after it's going to say that processing your files okay so we have the, the html the css and the readme file now we don't have the js here because we didn't need the js here okay now what we'll do is we'll go to settings and we're gonna go way down where it's going to under danger on top of danger zone where it's going to say github pages instead of none we're gonna choose main then we're gonna save okay now we're gonna go down again and your site is ready to be published at this one now it's it's gonna say that it's, there isn't a git there isn't a github pages site here that's because it's not gonna come automatically you'll have to wait for a certain period of time either that can be one hour or two hour or 24 hours but you just have to keep checking and that also happened to my other one like the one that i showed you at the beginning i also had to wait a few minutes and a few hours sorry a few hours like 24 hours almost a day to get my website so i hope you all enjoyed today's video thank you and assalamu alaikum